Hey campers, let's get moving. My name's Sydney. And my name's Marissa. And today we're gonna warm our bodies up with a little swing, drop, and move. So we're gonna channel our inner baseball players and step up to bat. So what we need you to do is get into your batting stance. So make your hands into a fist like you're holding a bat, bring them up to your ear. And when I say swing, you're going to swing your hands across the front of your body, just like you're swinging a bat. When I say drop, you're gonna drop the bat on the ground. And when I say move, you're going to do the movement that we previously told you. All right, ready to go? I think we are. Let's start off with our first move. So the first move that we're going to do is the disco. So if you're standing like me, you're gonna spread your legs out to about hip width apart. Then you're going to point your finger up to the sky and then down to the opposite hip. Like you're doing disco, maybe get a little wiggle in there. If you're seated, you're gonna do the same thing. Point to the top, point to your hip. You got it. All right, I think we're ready. So let's get into our baseball stance. Like we're up to bat. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Swing. Drop. And move. Let's see that disco. I'm even switching arms here. Oh, oh double up. One, two. One, two. Hey. Nice job. <laughs> All right, on to movement number two. So this one's gonna be hopscotch, all right? So what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna alternate jumping from two feet to one feet. Two feet, one feet. Two feet, to one feet. Awesome, and you can do this if you're standing or seated. Another variation is you could use your hands. So you could put both hands out in front of you, pull them back, and then put one hand out. Both hands, and then one hand. Awesome, all right, you ready? Let's get into it. In that baseball stance, ready to go. Swing, drop, and move. Let's see those hopscotch. Got my hands, two hands, one hand, or two feet, one feet. Awesome, guys. One more. Do it so good. Good work. Whew. That was good. All right, moving on to our third move. We are going to do the lasso. So you're going to take your imaginary rope, give yourself a little bit of slack, and you're going to swing it up in the air, up by your head, like you're holding a lasso. Yeehaw, partner. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, in our baseball stance, get that bat up by your ear, swing, drop, and move. Let's see that lasso. Woo! <laughs> Giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> get a little, a little, little feet in there, like you're riding a horse. Yee doggy. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's get into our next movement. I think we should do the cabbage patch for this one. Ooh. If you don't know what the cabbage patch is, it's a little dance move. So you can put your hands into a fist, shoot them out into a circle in front of you. Um, bring it around town. Awesome. And you can alternate directions as well. All right, you ready? Let's do it. In our stance, swing. Drop and move. Let's see those cabbage beds. Get into it. Ooh, open it. Yeah, I even got my hips going in here, bringing it all around, getting that full body. Ooh. Awesome, you guys are great. <laughs> okay, so for our last move, I want to see your best home run celebration. All right, so I want to see that Jose Bautista bat flip, and then let's get a celebration movement going. All right? It's all good? It's all good. Let's do it. Get in that batting stance. Swing. Drop. Get that Jose Bautista bat flip. And move. I'm bringing my fists and my knees in crisscrossing. And I'm over here putting some fist bumps in the air because we are the champions, my friends. Damn. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> awesome, guys. Good job. That was so great. Thank you for joining us for the warm up. Grab some water and let's get going on our main activity. Today, we are going to be doing 
shape bingo. Ooh. That's right. We have our very own giant shape bingo card ready to go. How this is going to work is Caitlin is going to choose out a shape from our yellow pylon that she has. Once she pulls it out, she will reveal it and we will all do that shape together. Once that is done, one of us is going to take off a flower off of our screen that's in between us and we're gonna run it over to put it on to our bingo card to mark off that. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Go ahead, Caitlin, first right. shape, here we all go. Right. Drum roll, please, Victoria, drum roll, drum roll, everyone. Here we go, here we go, shape number one is going to be, ooh, a straddle. All right, okay. So for our straddle, you guys can take a seat on the ground if you are standing. We are going to shoot both our legs out, almost in like a nice V, v position for Victoria. All right, and we are going to reach our hands up and all the way to our closing straddle. So now, to get our bingo shape, we have to hold this for five seconds. Can we do it? Mm -hmm. Do it. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. Five. Woo! Awesome. All right, Caitlin, do you want to take the flower first? Absolutely. Go for it. All right. Nice, Caitlin. Woo. All right, we got our first one down. Here we go. We need five in a row to get our bingo. All right, what is next? All right, guys. All right. Uh, drum roll, please. Drum roll, drum roll. Next shape. Here we go. Here we go. Is the chair pose. Nice. All right. This one's good. All right. If you're standing, we're going to start with our feet about shoulder width apart. Okay. We're going to bend slightly at our knees kind of, and sit back kind of like we're sitting in a chair. All right. So our knees aren't going over our toes. And then we're going to shoot our hands out in front of us. All right. Our head's going to be up and we're looking forward. Perfect. Caitlin has scooched her bum up to the front of her chair. Her legs are nice and her feet are a little bit apart, but shoulder width apart. And again, she shot her hands out in front of her and her head is nice and straight, looking forward. All right, let's do that together. Again, we gotta hold it for that five seconds to make it on our bingo card. Here we go. And down. Perfect. Hold it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Excellent. Awesome. All right, our next flower. Here we go. Woo! Good job, good job, Victoria. Nice. Thanks. All right. Awesome. Next one. All right, I'm shaking it up. Shake it up. All right, let's pick a good one here. What do we got? All right. Ooh, frog. Frog pose. All right, that's a good one. Okay. For our frog pose, if you're standing, you're gonna crouch down into a low position. So have your feet wider than hip width apart. Get nice and down there. And your hands are just gonna be placed in between your feet. Same thing if you're seated, we're gonna crouch down, bending at the hips here and reaching our hands down in between our feet. All right, we look like a little ribbon. Yeah, they little frogs. frogs here. Yeah. All right, so you gotta hold this for five seconds. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, and five. Nice. Nailed it. Woo. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Next flower. Here we go. Where's it gonna go? I think it's that pretty yellow one. Okay. Where's it gonna go? Right. Nice. Three one down. It looks like we have, we have two. Two in a row. Woo! Nice. All right, we're getting somewhere, guys. All, All right. right, next one. All right. Um, shake it up. I'm gonna pick a good one here. Ooh, knee scale. Knee nice. Scale. If you were standing, we're gonna get down on the ground for this one, onto our hands and knees, all right? So again, my hands are flat on the ground, just underneath my shoulder, and my knees are also flat on the ground. So what we're gonna do, this is actually a little bit more tricky. Maybe we'll get a bigger flower for this one. We're gonna do both legs for this one, all right? So we're gonna shoot one leg back. So again, we're on our knees, I'm gonna choose my right leg first. It's gonna shoot back, all right? After we hold that for five seconds, we're gonna to switch to our other leg. Perfect. Caitlin for this one is putting her left leg actually underneath her chair and then bringing that right leg up and hugging it as tight as she can, as close as she can to her chest. Perfect. And then after that five seconds, she's gonna switch legs as well. All right, 
Let's do it. First five seconds, get in your position, however you feel comfortable. Lift that leg. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, release the one leg. Let's switch to the other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Perfect. All right, we definitely deserve this, this bigger flower now. Here we go, I'm gonna go put it on our bingo card. Good job, Victoria. Good job, guys. All right, we're getting All some. Right. We're getting some. Making way. progress. Here we go. Here we go. Shaking it up. All right. What is next in this bucket of wonders? Ooh, the surfer pose. Ooh, I like this one. So we are going to channel our inner surfer here. So you guys can turn your body to the side here. So Victoria has rotated herself, and she's now facing the left side. So she is going to shoot her arms out to either side, right and left arm fully extended here. She's going to turn her front foot forward, so toes facing forward, and she's gonna add a little bit of a bend in her knee here. So she is like riding that surfboard. Nice, Victoria. If you're seated, we are going to twist our body to the side. So I'm gonna twist to the left, shoot my arms out to the side, one foot in front of the other, like we're on that surfboard. Nice. All right, we gotta make it even, so let's do the other side too. So we're gonna switch, shoot that other leg in front, turn and face the other way. And now we're gonna serve the other side. Nice. All right, so we gotta hold each for five seconds, Victoria. Right. Can we do it? Let's do it. All right, so get in that surfer position, team. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. nice. All right, side. switch it up. Getting ready, all right. Arms out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, nice. Another one down. All right, all right. All right, make it with this guy. Woohoo! Okay, let go, okay, let go. Nice! We got another, we have another two in a row. Oh, man! All right, we're doing okay, cool. Okay. All right, next one, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, here we go, I gotta pick a good one. What do we want here, Victoria? What do we want? Let's go, let's go. Flamingo! Oh, nice! Flamingo. All right, so you might be a little bit familiar with this one. We did something just like it in our warm up. So, we also called it the peaceful superhero, if Ooh. you remember. So, if you're standing, we're gonna start with our legs together. Standing up nice and tall, bringing those arms up from our sides and bringing the palms flat together, fingertips to the sky. And then if you would like to challenge yourself, we're gonna bring that one leg up, place the bottom of our foot and have it against our leg that we're leaning on and try to balance. Ooh, amazing. All right, and Caitlin is lifting one of her knees up in the air. And again, bringing those arms up from her side, bringing those palms together, fingertips, to the sky. Alrighty, here we go. Five seconds. Let's all get into our position. Remember, if you're trying to balance, you can use something to help you balance, like a chair or the wall. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Yes. Nice. Amazing. Good job, Next Victoria. one. Here we go. All right. Victoria's putting that flower on our bingo board. We are making progress, guys, making progress. Great job, Woo! great job. Kayla, do you see that? We have four in a row because of the free space. Oh, we need one more. We one need more. one more. All right, all right, here we go. Let's go, come on. All right, here we go. Oh, T-shape. Ooh, T -shape. okay, okay. All right, for our T-shape here, we can glue our legs together if you're standing or seated chest up nice and tall, and we are going to lift our arms up to shoulder height, shooting our fingertips out to either side here, all right? Squeezing our core, keeping that head up nice and tall, like we look like the letter T. All right, so we're gonna hold this for five seconds. Here we go, team. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Good job, guys. Go put that flower right. on there. All right, we're so close, Victoria, so close. Woo! Okay. 
Okay, okay. All right. We still need that one. One more. One, one more. Shape. And then we have okay. bingo. If we get this, after we are done putting that flower, I need everyone to just bingo! Because we will be doing that. All right, here we go. All right. Come here, Victoria, on. I feel this one. Drum roll, drum roll, guys. Come on, let's go. Ooh, dive! Oh, dive! Goodness. Here we go, here we go. Dive pose. All right, so if you're like me, you're not a very good swimmer then diving is kind of hard, but you can do this one, because I can do this one, all right? So, I'm gonna start with my feet together. I'm gonna slightly bend my knees, and then I'm gonna bring my hands up above my head and place one palm over the other, tuck my head in between my arms, and lean forward just slightly, like I'm getting ready to dive into the pool. All right, perfect. Kayla has her knees glued together. Again, she's bringing those arms up above her head, one palm over the other, and leaning forward, tucking that head. Perfect, all right. This is a good one, so let's make it good, all right? Let's hold this one. I think let's hold it for like, let's hold this one for 10 seconds. All right, I'm, let's I'm, do it. I'm up for it. Okay, we're about to do the biggest dive of our life here. Here we go. Let's try it, all right. In your position, here we go. 10 seconds for this one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Amazing. All right. I need, I think I need to clap off as I go for this last one. Victoria, here we go. Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. Welcome to another main activity. My name is Marissa. And my name is Victoria. And today we are going to be playing some clap and move. So before we get into our game, we need you to find a few things in your space. So we want you guys to go find four items of four different colors. So in front of me, I have four t-shirts that I found. One yellow, purple, green, and red. Victoria has in front of her various size cones, the exact same colors, purple, yellow, red, and green. So we want you guys to go find something in your space. All right, go find it. Now that you guys have your materials, we're ready to play. For this activity, we are going to spread out our items however you would like. So Marissa has spread her t-shirts out around her and my cones are just in front of me, nice and spread out. Each item that we have of each color is going to have a different movement that goes along with it. So, well, let's go through them. Our green item is going to be three punches. All right, so it, whether you're seated or you're standing, we're gonna bring those fists up to our, our chin level and we're gonna punch forward, alternating those arms three times. Nice. Our next one is red, which is in front of me. That is going to be three jumping jacks. Jumping jacks in a standing position, you're gonna start with your legs together and your arms to your side. You're gonna jump out, bringing your arms all the way out and your legs all the way out and then jump everything back in. Nice. Or you can also alternate sides, opening up right side and left side arms and legs. Nice. In a seated position, we're gonna do the same thing. We can shoot out our arms and our legs out as wide as we can, bring everything back in. Or we can alternate opening up each side one at a time. Perfect. 
For our next color, which is yellow, we are going to do toe touches. So how that looks, we, I want you guys to reach your hands as high as you can, and then you're going to slowly go down and touch those toes or reach as low as you can. Nice job, and it's gonna look exactly the same in your seated position. And our next color, which is purple, we have elbow to knee. So in your standing position, you're gonna have your elbows out to your side, and you're going to crunch down, bringing your opposite elbow to opposite knee, lifting that knee as you go, and then bringing them back down. And then alternating to your other side, opposite elbow to opposite knee, engaging that core. And in your seated position, scooting up to the front of your chair, having those elbows by your side, and then again, bringing your knee to your elbow, and then alternating to the other side as well. Nice job, guys. Perfect, now that we know the movement, it's time to play. We are going to listen for our game master. Now we should hear a clap, and then our game master is going to say a color. Now when she says a color, we are all going to either move to that color, or we can tap that color with our hand or our foot, and then we're going to proceed to do the movement that goes along with that color. Simple enough? Sounds good. Let's do it. First one is red. Red. Moving to red, we got jumping jacks. Three jumping jacks, here we go. Three, two, one. Nice job. We have yellow. Yellow. Well, we got toe touches, all right. Three, two, one, reach and touch. Reach and touch, last one. Reach and touch, nice. Go for green. Green. All right, we have some punches. Get those fists up. Here we go. One, two, three. Nice job. Purple. Purple. We got elbows to knees. Here we go. Three, two, one. Two, three. Nice. Red. Red. All right, back to jumping jacks. Let's move on over. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Good job. Yellow. Yellow. All right, we got toe touches. Reach and touch. Reach and touch. Last one. Reach and touch. Green. Green. All right, let's get those punches. Fist up, here we go. One, two, three. Purple. Purple. All right, we got elbow to knees, here we go. One, two, three. Woo! You guys are good at this. Nice job with round one, everyone. Let's head on to round two. But I think we need to up the challenge a little bit. Definitely. This time, we're also going to listen for our game master, but she's not going to tell us the color of our object this time. They're, each color is going to have a different amount of claps. So, we have red, which is going to be one clap. Clap, that means red. That means we have to move or tap red and then do the movement. Yellow is going to be two claps. Clap, clap, we're gonna move or tap and go to yellow. Green is going to be three claps. Clap, clap, clap. And purple is going to be four claps. Clap, 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 clap. All right, I know we can do it. A little bit more of a challenge, but let's get it. Here we go. Listen for our first one. Yellow. Toe touches. Up, down. One more. Nice. Let's listen. Green. We got those punches. Let's get those fists up. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Purple. Elbows to knees. Here we go. Engage those abs. One, two, three. Nice. Red. Let's see those jumping jacks. Here we go. One. Two, three. Yellow. Okay, we got toe touches. Up and down. Up and down. 
up and down. Nice. Green. Remember what it is, punches, here we go. One, two, three. Purple. Elbow to knee, here we go. One, two, three. Red. Jumping jacks, let's do it. Good work. Woo. Well, thank you so much for joining us for Clap and Move. Don't forget to grab some water, and we'll see you next time. This must be, yep, Clay's room. Aw, he's fast asleep in his gray gorilla pajama pants and black shirt. What is that, a long clock? Pistol beams. Nice big stretch and off to the bathroom. Time to brush him and flush him. After splashing some water on his face, Clay puts on his sweatbands. Head. Clayton. Wrist. Today it's going to be a good day. And then the glasses. Okay, time for exercises. One finger up, one finger to the side. One finger up, one to the side. And jazz hands. Pull him up, pull him to the side. Jazz hands. Hand roll, toe stall. Let's do this. Back in Clay's cave. I got my keys, I got my watch on. Wait, I'm still in pajamas. I can't go out like this. I gotta change. With a small hop, Clay is changed into his black Thrive shirt and khaki pants. Clay steps out onto his porch. Who's that in black athletic wear and white headphones? It's Caitlin. Clay gives her a big wave. I don't think she knows it's Clay. He waves with one hand and then two. Whew, good thing he stretched. Caitlin recognizes it's Clay and gives him a big wave back. Caitlin has an extra pep in her step as she continues her run. That was so kind of you, Clay. You brightened her day. Nice job. Caitlin and Clay's light bulb moment. Bing! Hey guys, welcome to Caitlin and Clay's light bulb moment where we make our connections to our weekly challenges. Do you guys know what this week's challenge is? Aha! It's kindness! Something that's really important to all of us here at the Ability Center. Kindness can be such a simple gesture and turn somebody's frown upside down. We encourage you to participate in an act of kindness this week. Send a positive message, wave to a stranger, throw your kindness around like confetti! Caitlin, you know you're gonna have to clean all this confetti up you just threw, right? Totally worth it, Clay. All right, guys, that's it for this week. This is Caitlin and Clay signing off. Welcome back to another You, Me, We Move. I'm Caitlin and I'm here at the Ability Center. So excited for our activity today. Hey everyone, my name is Victoria and I am also here at the Ability Center. Caitlin and myself are getting ready and pumped for our You, Me, We Move to the Beat session we have for you today. For our To The Beat session today, guys, we are going to be moving and grooving to some fun music, learning some new dance moves. Before we get started, let's go over our few rules that we need to remember. Rule number one, we want to make sure that we have a nice open space around us so that we don't hurt ourselves or anybody else that may be in our space. Rule number two, make sure an adult is in the room or close by, you know, in case you need anything or they're more than welcome to join in. Rule number three, if you are feeling sick at all or you are injured, remember to rest up, watch, learn, and get ready for next time. And our fourth and final rule, everyone, the most important rule is have fun. So let's get our dancing shoes on and let's get started. For our warm-up activity, we are going to be playing red light, green light, yellow light. 
When you hear or see green light, we want you guys to move however you'd like. You can pump those arms, you can dance it out, you can run on the spot. When you hear or see yellow light, we want you guys to slow down that motion. We're moving in slow motion here. Oh, nice, Victoria. And finally, when you hear or see red light, we want you to stop. You need to freeze and stay as still as possible. So remember those three instructions and let's get started. I will be doing the standing variation, Kayla will be doing the seated variation. Follow along how you feel best. Let's get going. All right, green light, how are you moving? I'm doing some snake arms and scooching back on my feet, maybe going forward. Caitlin's doing some crisscrossing with her arms and her feet. Yellow light. Oh, how do you move in slow motion? Red light. We are as still as can be. Green light. Oh yeah, doing some dance moves, pumping most fists out to the side, jumping from foot to foot. Oh yeah, ooh, Kayla's doing some rolls with her fists. I like it, and red light. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Trying to balance on that foot, not happening. Yellow light. Can you move so slow? Again, you can do some dance moves. Maybe you're running on the spot. Green light. I'm running on that spot. Oh yeah, Caitlin's raising the roof with her both of her ooh, arms. Ooh, 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 ooh. And we are still I can be. Green light. Running on that spot again. Oh, so is Caitlin. Yellow light. That epic slow motion run to end off this warm up. Let's cross that finish line in super slow motion. We're almost there, Caitlin. And red light. Nicely done. Woo! Awesome Good job, job everybody. All right, everyone, let's grab a quick drink and we're gonna move into our cool down activity. get started with our cool down. We wanna make sure we're bringing down our heart rate, stretching out those muscles so we're ready for our next You, Me, We Move session. So we're gonna start off here with our static lunge reach. So Victoria is stepping out in a nice big lunge. Her right leg is in front of her with her knee bent. Her left leg's behind her straight out and her arms are high to the sky. I'm seated with my arms above my head reaching up. We are going to tilt our head up to the ceiling, looking at our hands, and let's hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, excellent. Victoria is stepping forward with her left, bending that knee. Her right leg is behind, and a nice big lunge. She's reaching up to the sky, nice. I am seated, my arms are coming back up above my head. Let's tilt our head up. Nice breathing here. We're holding this for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, awesome Good job guys. All right, moving on to our next stretch. We are going to be doing our static straddle here. So Victoria has her legs nice and wide here, wider than hip width. She is reaching down with her right hand to her left foot. Her left arm is way up high in the sky and she's doing a nice stretch here, bent at the hips. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm going to reach my right hand to my left foot, reaching that left arm way up to the sky. So guys, let's do that and we're gonna hold it. So reach opposite arm to opposite foot here. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, coming up, taking a nice deep breath in. Letting it out, let's switch here. So now I'm reaching with my left arm to my right foot, bringing that right arm up. Let's look at our hand and we're holding for five, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Coming back to our upright position, let's take one more nice deep breath in. And out. Nice, awesome. For our final cool down stretch, we are going to be doing our static squat. So Victoria, again, is moving her feet wider than hip width apart. She's bending her knees, getting her bum nice and low to the ground. She has her hands placed on the top of her knees like she is in a seated position, but she's not. Uh, for our chair, I'm sitting here. I'm going to bring my legs out nice and wide, and I'm just gonna bend forward at the hips. You'll feel this in your groin area. So let's take a deep breath in. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, let's stand up, shake it out. And we're gonna do that one more time. So in that deep, deep squat, hands on top of our knees. Here we go, nice deep breath in. And letting it out for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome work, guys. Nice. And our cool down is done. Amazing job again, everybody, with our You, Me, We, Move session today. Make sure that you get some more water, hydrate, and get ready for next time. We'll see you then. Bye, Bye everyone.